Hey, Sousaville. It's 22 degrees outside. 22. We're going to head out and we're going to boil two cups of water on the jet boil sole. Um, the cartridge in the stove have been outside um, since this morning, probably eight hours. So um, we'll see. Just curious to see how long it takes to bring two cups of water to a boil. All right, so this is the, uh, the jet boil sole. I did want to mention that uh, this is a uh, cozy that I made for it for uh, rehydrating um, food and wasn't happy with the uh, other cozy that I was using. So I put a little Velcro on it and uh, it's kind of what you're looking at. Get your utensils in the top, comes over it. And your windscreen and everything is right in here. So uh, it's been working out well because these cozies, if you carry them empty or with a little bit in it, when you get them in your pack, they uh, get pretty crushed. So this works out well. All right, I'm gonna set this up and I'll see you in a minute. All right, I've got two cups of water. Going in. Wow, it's cold out here. All right, I wanna show you one thing. This canister and stove have been out here. So two cups of water have been boiled 14 times with this canister and we're about to start this experiment in uh, 20 degree weather and we're gonna get that timer going. All right, we're at close to two minutes and you can see the orange indicator going to the top. You can see that the flame is working fine probably not with as much power as if it were 70 or 80 degrees out granted this canister has been used 14 times to boil two cups of water each time so all right be back with you in a minute and uh we don't have a boil yet we're at about three and a half minutes Hey, how's it going? This is gonna be test number two. Two cups of water. And the jet boil sole. All right. Here we go. And gotta put this timer on. All right. We're at about three and a half minutes now. And uh, that's what we're looking at for a flame pattern. Three and a half minutes and not at a boil yet. But we'll see. We'll give her another minute, see how she's doing. Um, you're gonna wanna use this uh, windscreen with, this, with these frigid temperatures. 20 degrees, and you're gonna wanna create a microclimate um, around it. So I would, uh, even though you don't really need, uh, normally need the windscreen with the jet boil, I would certainly use it in these temperatures. All right, 448, rolling boil. 448, rolling boil. And um, I got a couple of things to say about this. Four minutes and 48 seconds to get two cups of water to boil. You can see by this that I've boiled two cups of water seven other times with this. So it wasn't a new cartridge. Um, let's go inside for a minute. All right. So in closing, um, the jet boil sole just boiled two cups of water in uh, 20 degree weather. And uh, the cartridges in the stove had, had been outside most of the morning. So it can be done. Um, it's not pretty though, I'll give you that. The boil time was uh, 448 and I used a windscreen. You're gonna wanna use a windscreen to create a microclimate in there um, and keep the wind off that cartridge and everything else. Um, 
but you're looking at almost twice the boil time of uh, of your your summer um, times because I if I'm not mistaken we were looking at uh, you know two two and a half minutes to boil water in the summer so plan on on uh, it taking twice as long is it actually using twice as much fuel I'm not really certain about fuel consumption because I know there's some changes in the uh, gas and liquid state but uh, the test was simply to see if uh, we could boil two cups of water um, in 20 degree weather I would certainly recommend doing every, everything you can to insulate the cartridge. I would uh, be certain to use a windscreen if you want to add uh, a carbon felt cozy upside down on top of the uh, on top of the jet boil pot as well to maybe insulate that so you're not losing heat that way. I would do everything you could to try to conserve heat, but you can do it. All right, safe trails. Peace. Hey, Susanville. The um Regarding the jet boil um, and using it in really frigid weather, like 20 degrees, if your canister has been used approximately 14 times, which is um, the length of time that my canister was used, when I went for the 15th boil of two cups of water um, in 20 degree weather, it brought it to just under a boil and I just couldn't get enough pressure from, from the canister to get it to a full boil. So on the second test, I used a canister, a canister that was used seven times to boil two cups of water. And I had no problem boiling water with it. It takes about twice as long as I said. So use a fresh canister every time you're in sub-freezing weather and save those other canisters perhaps for the spring and the summer. All right, safe trails. Peace.